Hey guys, Reloader Dude here. Uh, C Max from the C Max YouTube channel asked me a question. He said, Why do I have two uh, powder dispensers? Basically, is what his question was. Well, I'm going to tell you. A lot of this is just going to be taken off the propaganda sites on why, but then I'll explain to it after I'm done. Okay, this, this powder measure over here is the Reading Competition 10X Powder Pistol and Small Rifle Powder Measure. It was designed to achieve the best possible metering with target loads around 10 grains. This works from one grain to 25 grains, but at the 10 grain level, it's supposed to be the most consistent, most accurate powder thrower on the market. I shoot a lot of competitions, everybody knows if you've been watching my videos at all. And because of that, I want to throw the best possible consistent charge that I can buy, or <laughs> that I can make, so that's why I bought this particular one. Uh, you can also use this powder measure for a 17 Hornet. A lot of people don't know what 17 Hornet is. I've been thinking about reloading for 17 Hornet, so I bought it for that. The mainly reason I bought it is because I shoot a lot of competition and I wanted the best possible metering pistol powder throwing capability that I could get, and that's why I bought this one. Okay, this one over here is the Reading Match Grade 3 BR powder measure. It's designed to be the best out-of-the-box accuracy match-ready rifle powder dispenser. So, because, you know, I shoot three-gun, and I'm trying to get into more what they call it. I forget exactly what they call it, but basically it's bullseye shoots with three R, uh, excuse me, with an AR. And I do also do bullseye shoots with the pistol. So I wanted the best possible powder measures that I can get. So I got one for pistol and one for rifle. They're supposed to be the best on the market. I don't know if they are or not, but that answered question on why I've got two. One of the best, basically a match grade pistol and a match grade rifle. Now the problem is, as everybody sees, I have a small reloading disc. It's big enough for me. But if you're going to do something like this, safety first. Do not store your powder in your powder measure, because lo and behold, you'll use this a hundred times for a pistol, but you'll throw a rifle charge in it and or vice versa. Use this 100 times for your rifle and you'll throw a pistol charge in it. So don't set them up like this. I do this, A, for video, you know, so you all can see everything that I'm gonna be doing for the first thing, you know, and B, this is what I have to work with, so this is what I'll use. Uh, but the main important thing here is safety. So do not load, you know, don't have a bowl full of powder and sit here and just willy-nilly do what you're doing. You know, if you're gonna set them up this close, you make sure that you don't have powder in one and you only put powder in the right one. But to answer the question why I have two, this one's for match grade pistol, this one's for match grade rifle, and since I'm trying to create match grade ammo, that's what they are. If you haven't checked out these two uh, items, go check them out. They're supposed to be the, the best on the market. Like I said, I don't know if they are or they're not. I will tell you this, I have used them now for about a week doing a lot of test charges and actually reloading ammo. And they are, they are very, 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 very consistent. You know, this is a small ball, ball powder. It throws consistently every time. I have, I have yet to have it be off even a, a, a you know, grain, tenth of a grain, any, any grain. It's, it's hit right on every time. On the rifle one, I have the long powders, which are a little harder to throw. And this drum actually cuts that rifle powder and it's been, it's been right on the money too. So, I mean, they both are working excellent at this point, and I'm just going to continue to use them. But there's the answer to the question. If you haven't seen these, go check them out. They're great products. I'm not saying you have to have this, but this is just what I'm using because I'm trying to create the ultimate match grade ammo. And that's what we're going for here. So, I appreciate y'all watching. And if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video at all, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, you know, like I said, you know, chime in. I mean, a lot of people are scared to chime in and ask questions. Don't be scared to chime in and ask questions because I'll be the first one to tell you. If I don't know, I don't know. You know, I've been no skin off my teeth, but I don't know. So anyway, I appreciate y'all watching. Thanks again.